but you have to be okay with being shamed every day of your life. I don't even want to have children because I do porn because I'm worried of the way that people will treat my child. For clicks, likes, and clout, and money, I will go against all my morals. But I'm not going to because I don't have it in myself as an adult to leave it up to me. I'm going to ask y'all. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Corn. Make sure you guys hit that like, hit that subscribe, all that good stuff. It is stories like this one right here that really makes me enjoy being single. I love having my peace, and I enjoy keeping my peace because this right here is a, a really, really, really disingenuous uh, post. Ashley Myers, someone who works in conservative media, media obviously, uh, she says, I have really thought about starting an OnlyFans. So right there is already like a red flag. There is no money in conservative media starting out, and it is really difficult to get by. The money is quickly alluring. <sighs> but, but, here, here's where it gets even worse. But, <laughs> I am a Christian, and I believe it is morally wrong. Thoughts. So already it seems like one your your engagement farming, which is a new t not a new term, but which is a term that everybody's using right now in terms of Twitter. Engagement farming, engagement farming, but this is literally engagement farming. The fact that it, it, there's so many red flags all over this freaking tweet, man, because the fact that you are saying thoughts, why would it be up to us? Why should your morals? This is, this is why we are in the state that we are in, not just in this country, but in the world. You have a chick on here that is literally ready to give up all of her morals, at least the important ones. Well, I, I believe all morals are important, but you know what I mean. The big ones. And she's willing to do it on a whim, based off of how much engagement, how much of the comments, positive comments, on OnlyFans that she gets on Twitter. Or else, why would she be asking her Twitter followers thoughts? There's another issue wrong with this, guys. And that is right here. I'm going to try and, uh, if I can highlight it. Right here, she's talking about there's no money in conservative media starting out, and it is really difficult to get by. The money is quickly alluring. I'm sitting here trying to figure out why our society, why people in our very own communities are doing stuff like this. You are willing to spread your butt cheeks, essentially, because you wanted to do conservative media. And this is why nobody trusts the media. This is exactly why nobody trusts the media. Don't even mention mainstream media. I'm talking about just, just straight up, hey, there's a company here. There's, a, there's company A, B, C, and D of your even your local media. Because you got hoes like this. That as soon as they realize, as soon as the economy goes to shit... And they realize, okay, I have to now lean on something else in order for income. Or I have to lean on my trades or, you know, some kind of experience that I have or something. Or maybe I just have to ration out money. Maybe I just have to save my fucking money. I don't know. But the fact that your first thought was to run to Twitter and let Every single person know in the world that not only are you a part of conservative media, but you it, it's starting out is you're not making any money and it's really it's really hard getting by. Why are you telling us? Why are you telling the why are you telling Twitter world? Why are you putting all your business out there saying, uh, my, it's so hard, I'm not making money. Basically, yo, I'm broke and I want to start an OnlyFans. I'm a Christian and I believe it's morally wrong. That's where you should stop. 
I talked to my dad, and he struggles with my my job being in the industry. He's also religious. Recently, I wanted to go visit him, and he said that I, I can't go visit because his wife, my stepmom, doesn't want me there. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore because my stepmom doesn't like that I do porn. But then he told me that when I was like, can we like go get coffee and like we go like get breakfast? And he's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. And that just <laughs> hurt so bad. And it sucks. First of all, that should be your first thought. Your first thought should be, okay, I'm, I, I am thinking about making a major decision in my life about showing my asshole and my puss and my titties. I don't know if she has any tits. She might. I, I can't tell with the hoodie thing. But, I mean, she's hot. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I mean, she, she get it. But you're going to show all that. Go against, and, and then you have to think, is this going to go against my morals? If it's yes, then why the fuck are you doing it? Oh, because you need money? Fam, there's so many. You're a cute chick. There's so many ways, you, other ways you can get money. So many other avenues you can get some side money. You are willing to run to OnlyFans and go against all your morals because you ain't got no money? And then to uh, blurt out that you're in conservative media, which is not a good idea. If you're announcing OnlyFans, why the fuck would you say, hey guys, I'm a part of uh, conservative media, media as well. Or I'm a part of democratic, uh, what, yeah, democratic media or whatever the fuck. If you mention that you're a part of media and that you're going to be announcing an OnlyFans or even thinking about getting an OnlyFans, fam, you know what you're doing. You know exactly what you're doing. I cannot believe the state that we are in nowadays where women are going to literally ask the people, should I break my morals? So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard it makes dating really hard it makes your family life really hard it makes intimacy hard if you're putting yourself out there and the world is now judging you that is the most concerning part to me of this whole thing it's the fact that you're saying hey for clicks and likes 2024 right the year clicks and likes and clout for clicks likes and clout and money I will go against all my morals, but I'm not going to because I don't have it in myself as an adult to leave it up to me. I'm going to ask y'all. I'm going to put that on y'all. So if I start an OnlyFans, I go down this fucking rabbit hole. Then I then I start getting fucked over here, getting fucked over there. And again, I, I'm, I'm not one of these fucking uh, dating guru guys. Like I, I don't know. It's, it's a possibility that she could start her OnlyFans and not take off any of her clothes. I don't know. Y'all know how I do. I give y'all the best case scenario and worst case scenario. And both are still my own opinions. <laughs> it's not even like it's fact. But this right here is some concerning shit. And there's a million chicks just like this that after seeing this, because she does have such a big following, they're going to follow up with this. They're going to do the same thing. They're going to say, maybe I should break my morals. Maybe I should go against my morals uh, and leave it up to my followers. Leave it up to my friends on Facebook or Meta, whatever it's called now. Leave it up to my subscribers on, on, on YouTube. I should definitely go against my morals. Now, I don't get it. Because me personally, I would never play Russian roulette with my morals. Now, have there been times where Corin went against his morals and, and did something? Yeah, I'm human, duh. And I probably would do it again, not hoping that I do. Obviously, I have the willpower to not uh, go against my morals again. But everybody does. I mean, everybody's done it. Everybody's going to continue to do it. But the fact that you are announcing on social media that you're even thinking about it and then leaving it up to the people, that's on a whole nother level, fam. One that I just cannot rock with. I don't know, man. Let me know what y'all think uh, in the comment section. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, all that good stuff. It's your boy, Corn, and I am. O-U-T.